Pirates is Xavier, and welcome to Troop Column number 42,000 in this campaign. Brought to you by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I thought I had six people. Apparently I only have five, but it's okay. This is a very light mission. All I need to do is set up and not be a complete idiot, and we should be fine. Should be fine. Also, I need to make sure Yuri does not take wounds. That's probably one of the more important things, because I need him to go on the mission right after this with the network tower. I guess it's not, like, the worst thing if I don't have them, because I'll still have three technicals. And I should probably actually only send three on that mission. Uh, so I have one to do some other mission. Uh, but I think it'd just be so hilarious to have four technicals and the one shinobi on it. All rocket spec, just going, like, lighting the whole town ablaze. So that's kind of the goal. Uh, in any event, let's move up with Razor. He'll be our Scouty McScouter this time around. Let's go over here and look around. Try to find some elevation. We have a tower right there. Do I need this tower? Not really... Uh, well, Zawadi can take it up, I suppose. Let's move him out there. Great, great, great. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yep. Okay. Oh, whoa, oh, hello. There's a pod of three flanky snakes. Or, sorry, snipey snakes. I always get them messed up like that. I heard a mech off to the right, and I heard a door over here to the left. This makes me think that there's going to be four pods of three. I would like to engage this one last, because honestly, these things are so easy to deal with. You just run and flank them, and they can't even do anything. So, not like a big deal at all. Let's move all the way down. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Don't move! Ooh! I moved very aggressively there! I moved very aggressively and almost broke concealment. Wow, look at that. One tile away. This is what I want to activate on, though. That is definitely, definitely, definitely what I want to activate on. So with that in mind, let's move Yuri up into a position where there's a chance he can get a Burnination activation. That's going to be right over there. Fantastic. Let's get Zawadi pulled back someplace where he can steady and ready. Uh, also, maybe not be seen by those snakes, if at all possible. Yeah, he's going to be seen here. He's going to potentially be seen there. You know what? I don't think there's any place he can really steady and ready. So... I could assume the snakes might leave, and I could come all the way back there. That's possible. Let's do that, I suppose, with Zawadi. And from here, we can steady. Uh, and then we want to get up right in the front lines here with Saij. I think maybe right over by, you know what, there is probably fine. And then last but not least, we want to bring Amaral right up where he can do all kinds of punching or whatever he needs to do. And then, we'll, okay, actually last. <laughs> and definitely, probably, almost certainly least, Razor the Grazer. Move on back. Uh, Razor has a storied history, this campaign. A storied history. Alright, these guys are moving, but not exactly where I want them to move. At least not for a burning nation. Snakes are gonna tootle around. Uh, ooh! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 of the up to 12 enemies on the map are now known to me. So, I'm actually not gonna activate right now. Because I want to hope that two of these pods group up, any t any two of them, and then I can rocket them. And that'll be a great way to activate, I think, with the massive amount of rocket damage that I do. Uh, Emerald, you can probably just stay put. Razor, you can probably stay put. Uh, Saiz, you can probably also just stay put. And then last but not least, I think we need to move Zawadi up someplace so he's not so far away and we'll steady with him. He does have low profile. He's good. He's good. Bam. And everyone else just at quick end turn. All right, guys, if you'd be so kind, that's good. If you guys want to come over here and investigate, high five your uh, mutton friends, maybe. Hey, snakes. High five. High five in street. No? Just want to wander off like that, then? All right, fine. In that case, I'm going to move Zawadi one more time. Maybe, like, up to this trash can, get him a little bit closer, just in case I have to shoot, like, super far and quick end turn. Guys, there has to be an advent convention here in the middle at some point. Okay. Nope. There's not gonna be, actually. I feel like if I just wait a few more turns, the snakes will leave, these guys, the muton pot will come back by themselves, and I can move up to burn them or something like that. I really don't want to fight those snakes right now, anyway. Looks good. I think the last pod had a mech in it, and it's way far away on the other side of the, the map, so I don't have to care about that. Wait, are they coming back? Is that them? Yes. Oh, and these guys are going moving up as well. Okay, now we're talking. There's some potential here for us. Why don't we move Yuri up a little bit more? That's a, probably a better place to go for a burning nation, potentially. 
Let's get everyone else up a little bit more as well. Uh, you know what? Let's get Amaral actually way up here. Uh, Saish, I think maybe you could go at least to Amaral's spot. Razor, you know what? We might break act or I don't think we'll break concealment with you. But just in case, I'll probably leave you where you are. Where the heck is Zawadi now? He's actually there. That's fine. Quick end turn. All right, come on, guys. Wander right in front of me. That would be ideal for me. And not so much ideal for you. Close. They're close. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. They're wandering to exactly where they're going to spot us. Oh, yep. By one tile. Oh, well, I guess that's how we activate. Hey, it's, it's all right. We get a bunch of overwatch shots, at least, when they're all on green alert, so it won't matter too much. And then I can rocket them or something. Nice. Looks like Yuri's swinging a hit. Amaral also swinging a hit. Saish swinging a hit. And that's everybody. We only hit for, like, one, one, and I'll find out. That's him, Badabush. One, one, and... Oh, here we go. Well, I can't quite see the... Uh, one, one, and seven there. Three overwatches. Well, they can't really do anything else when they're in that kind of mode, so... I could have Sage walk, walk over here and just execute one doofus, no problem. There's a lot of guys on the map, though, in a lot of different directions. I'm not a huge fan of this. One, two, three. We're just one tile short of getting Amaral in here to both battles away that doofus, but... But... Could I... Oh, no. Please tell me. Please tell me why... Oh, the good! Oh, there was a pixel! Yes! Pixel on 2K! Freaking 90! Go to hell! Freaking for Axis! All right, that can be dealt with. It's possible Yuri could walk around the corner and burninate these guys, leaving just the Muton. Uh, he'll take cover against the Gunner, which would probably be appropriate. Uh, the only question is, can I kill that Gunner, actually? What can I do with Zawadi? Well, 81 on the Gunner. That's his best target, actually. Did I say actually 15 times? I think I did. I think I did. Muton, I'm not too concerned with, believe it or not, this this time around. So why don't we indeed do that gunner shot right there? It looks like a good idea. 81%. Can we kill him in one shot? 6 to 9 with 23. No, if we upgraded his gun, I could have. But since I can't, I think I'm going to do an 87% precision shot here. Hmm. I don't know. Or we could do a 69 dead eye, but if we graze, it's not going to work out in our favor at all. I probably might want to save the dead eye for something else. I think I'm just going to go for the... The hopeful non-min roll, maybe a crit precision, 87% Zawadi. Go for it on the gunner. Nice. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, it is. Now, with that being the case, let's move over here with Saeed. Oh, whoopsie daisy, forgot about the overwatches. Well, that's one way to pull overwatches. Newton swinging a hit. Stun Lancer swinging a hit. <laughs> oh, God, third one. Officer swinging a hit. And also a poison there. Wow. Complete. I should have at least... Oh. That was just stupid on my part, but whatever, it's done. Nothing I can do about it now. I think we're going to need to pop up a fortify on Saeed. We're going to have to shoot this guy. 76%. Please, Saeed, no grace. Oh, he grazed. Yeah, just a little off. That's going to cost you your life, you doofus. All right, let's come around here with Yuri. Take cover relative to the mutton, and let's toss out ye old flamethrower. Just like... All right, well, I can't do the thing I want to do, I suppose. So, what do I do instead, I ask you? Um, I guess I'm going to do this thing over here with Amaral. We'll toss the grenade on this there. Pixel, 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 pixel. Where the hell's the pixel? Is it on his toenail, I think? Is it, is it, it was over here or something? Oh, hold on, I almost found it. Come on. Come on, falling asleep. Eyes are closing. I, I, oh, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? There we go, I found it. All right, great. All right, officer's dealt with, he's on fire. I do not like leaving this grenadier here, but he is flanked, so he's probably gonna move and take a shot. So I suppose there's that. So let's just grab Yuri then and go for a flamethrower, I suppose, on the stun lancer. I mean, really, what else is there to do? Uh, nothing so much. Let's go for it. Bam, burn, awesome. Hit for seven and burning. I just hope they don't shoot Yuri because that was like my one and only goal. I could use Razor here to take this shot. Do I really need Razor? Not so much. I think I will take the shot to be honest. 
Uh, to be honest, rather. <laughs> also, I'll take it to be awesome. <laughs> there goes my concealment. Oakley dokley here. Let's see. Officer's still burning. This guy dies. What a... What a bunch of misplays that was on my part in every way. Like, bad activation. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going for Yuri. Yuri! Yep, it stings all right, but did it pierce your ablative? I don't think so. Here's what I'm going to shot on Saeed from the Muton. That was a 29% chance for him to die. Nope, it didn't pierce the ablative. It only hit for three. So Yuri's doing just fine and dandy. All right, Saeed is still poisoned. If we don't heal him right now, he's dead. He's going to have to move back someplace with Razor or something along that lines, and Razor can heal him up. If Where he's going to move back to is really dependent upon what I can kill here with Zawadi. So what he has a 52 on that Muton. He's the only one who can probably take that out, or I could run up there and burn him. This thing's not going to burn to death, neither will this thing, but Emerald could easily move out here and execute this one guy. Then we could shoot the officer and then burn the Muton. So that's the plan. Zawadi, I think that was your best shot anyway. 59% on that officer. Looks good. Cross map. Please don't miss. No grays. 59. Whoa, you actually outright killed him. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I thought you would like min roll or something. But hey, max roll. Sure, I'll take it. Now, let's bring Yuri up. We know we can deal with this uh, Doofon from here. Hope we don't activate. Oh! Could have sworn I saw something right there, but apparently not. Okay, fine. Let's toss a Burnination right on the Doofon. Hopefully he catches on fire. Nice, hit for three and a burning. This is what we're talking about. And this frees me up to bring Amaral to one of the dumbest places in the world, right out in the open. Who cares though, because here's a doof, it's 95% four to seven. That doesn't seem good enough to me. I'm thinking this point blank for five to nine. That doesn't seem good enough to me either. You know what seems really good to me? Both. Girls, there could be only one orange man in the streets. Only one orange man, Mr. Rocketeer, and his name is Emerald. Now, let's move up here with Razor, since we know those snakes will be incoming. Not that they can take shots anyway. We'll pop up a medkit here on Saish. Thank you very much for being uh, the guy who tanked all those shots by misclick. <laughs> really appreciate it, Saish. I'll keep you alive, maybe. Uh, now, let's pop a reload on him and probably just go on Overwatch. All right, Dufon burns for one. We're going to have to lay a little bit more damage into him. For sure. Actually, kind of a lot more. Oh, here comes the final. Oh, that's an M2 mech. There, they've got a button. It sounded like, I don't know. That's a shield better, something else as well. Saeed swinging a no idea. Miss. That's a gunner in the background there. I don't like that one bit. Hopefully this Dufon ends his turn near this Rocketeer. No, no such luck. By Rocketeer, I meant uh, mech. Rocketeer. No such luck on that account. All right, well, we can move over here and get a flank with Amaral, which, quite frankly, I think we're going to have to take, actually. So let's go for that. Okay. Amaral will move on up. Let's take down this Dufon to a point where he might actually die. 75%. He does have armor, though. We hit for three, and there's a chance he'll burn to death, but that chance is slim. It's very slim. Now, Razor could just come down here and completely occupy that guy without any questions. Uh, but I'm more concerned with flashbanging that M2 gunner in the background. Let's come back here with Zawadi and see what we have. 86% on the mech. That's great. We're gonna have to go for a Deadeye. 72% though. Zawadi, cross map. Please hit like major truck. Unfortunately, that thing has three armor. We have like some shred I probably should have used before I took that shot with Saeed with a grenade. But I was honestly hoping to use the grenade back here on the gunner to knock him out. And I'm still wondering if that's the smarter move. And we just let the mech run around for like one turn. It probably honestly is. Huh. Should I just shoot a rocket here with Yuri, like down at that, down, ooh. A rocket over here would take out the gunner. It would actually literally take the gunner out. Okay, could we also, huh, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do this then. It seems way too good. 0.54 tiles, Yuri, bam, M2, uh, gunner. Ah, wow, you actually just killed him without even destroying the truck. But you destroyed the truck on top of it anyway, just for good measure, so... Okay, uh, let's bring Saeed up a little bit now to a place where we can hit that mech, which, honestly, he can hit it from right there, believe it or not. And he's in a pretty good uh, piece of cover really far away, so let's do that. We'll just 
Or I could move up to this rock, but that risks activating against the snake, so I don't want to do that even though it's a slim, slim chance. Should have done this first. I was really anticipating throwing the grenade over there, but whatever. We shred one point of armor. That's, like, not ideal. If I come back here, we're going to get longbowed. But if I don't come back here, then that muton's probably going to kill somebody. We're gonna have to, we're gonna just have to do it. Razor, get on in there, shut this doofus down. He's probably not gonna burn to death. We're gonna have to probably take a missile. We got an advanced stock, an advanced autoloader. Let's just pray the longbow doesn't, uh, missile Yuri for more than two. That's the plan. All right. This guy moves up. He's gonna take a shot at Yuri. Fortunately, 38 plus 20 miss. Oh, this thing's going for a flank. Looks like it's going for Ray. No, it's going for the missile. Come on, Yuri! Ablative for days! Nope, Yuri has a one damage wound. Which, quite frankly, isn't all that bad, everything considered. Let's grab Saij now. Let's run all the way down the street and assume that we're going to kill that longbow right now. Is here even going to be good enough? One, two, three, four, five, six tiles. How far short are we? Not six tiles, so we're good. Yo, it's worth it, Saij. I tell you, it's a worth it. Let's shred that thing right there, right in its face. Bam! Bunch of extra damage as well. Zawadi can probably finish it up. Nice. Actually, well, it still has 11 HP and still has some armor, so I don't think Zawadi can finish it up. Luckily, he has a free reload. 85%, 6 to 9. Right, I gotta buy him a better rifle. There we go. Hit for 8. Fantastic. That is definitely what I like to see. The thing here, though, is uh, Amaral can't get close enough to... Well, he doesn't have any point blanks anyway. I th and I want to grab this loot if possible. Razor could probably grab the loot and go in there for a slice finish, but he's going to be standing in the open if he goes for it. So let's see if Emerald can just take this thing down. 51%. Go for it, Emerald. Yep. String and a miss. A string and a miss, I guess. I don't know. 63% though. Locked on. Second time's a charm. Nice. That is super duper helpful. Now, I don't want to come, even though I could slice this guy, and that's going to activate snakes to like the umpteenth power. So instead, Razor, come on back. Grab this there loot. Laser sight, emergency light support. Great. Come up there. Uh, Yuri, I'm thinking for you, honestly, we're just going to sit tight. Really? Like, let's just let that guy shoot at us if he wants to shoot at us. There's no reason not to do that. And there's no reason for you to actually use any abilities right now. So just hunker down and take less damage. Okay, he's going to indicate where the snakes are because he's running towards them, but hey, there's the snakes anyway, so no huge surprise there. Only thing we have to worry about these snakes is their poison spit once we go and flank them all, and they all start running around like little scaredos. Ooh, Yuri, though. Look at this. Look at this, Yuri. We got a present for you. 0.78 tile of rocket cross map. Oh, oh my god. 676. Six. That's incredible. Incredible. Unfortunately, two of them are still not flanked, which I'm not a big fan of. Who can really uh, flank them? Well, Zawadi can probably kill uh, the one in the back so we don't have to flank him. 70%. Screw that. Let's make it a 78 with precision shot. Go for it, Zawadi. With Graze, he should probably almost certainly be dead. And yes, indeed, one snake is dead. Great. The other two we could kill with a grenade, no problem. If I wanted to do that. Ideally, I'd like to get their snake corpses, though, to sell them. Uh, so, Razor, could you slice him? Nope. Could you run up there and shoot one? That's an interesting proposition. Could you run up... Actually, Razor could run up here and flank them, and then they could both do nothing. That's also an interesting proposition. What if we moved up with Amaral into the middle of the street? Could we shoot one, maybe? The answer is... Presumably, yes. Right here, right here. Yeah, right there. Let's move as far back as possible, though, so as to not take a shot from the... Shield better. That's what it's called. 63% Amaral. Okay, one last snake. Now then, Razor, I do feel like this is the smart move. Is that guy flanked? No, let's move up and flank him. You are kind of in the open, though, which is the only thing. There's the shield better. That's good to know, but also very scary. Very scary. Let's move up here with Saij. I th Actually, before we do, we have, to, we have to be able to throw this thing one, two, three... Four or five, six tiles closer. One, two, three, four, five, 
Well, five will have to do because I want the high cover because he's at five HP. So we move on up. We throw Eild Granati right on this shield better. We'll shred him. We'll blow up his carter. That'll probably shred him even more. Maybe leave him with one HP. Maybe he'll die outright. We'll see in a second. Probably one HP. Oh, actually, he only had a whole bunch of HP because he only got hit for one there. And the car brings him down to four. He is a little bit scared, so he moves around the corner and throws up a shield, which I don't think he would have done if this snake was still alive, but the snake being flanked can't do anything, and then basically everyone's pretty much done. Yep, he spits on Razor, and Razor's like, what are you, what, 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 don't you know I'm Razor the Grazer? Like, obviously he didn't know that. Let's come back here, though, to Zawadi. We have a 65 on the snake. I can't do anything else, so I may as well take it. What happened? Did we kill him? We <laughs> We grazed him for one, apparently. Uh, I, oh, he's actually not flanked. Was he not, no, he moved to a place where he was not flanked, I think, is what happened there. Do we have any more grenades on Saish? The answer is no. We do not. But we can come over here with him and get a shot on that shield better, soften him up a little bit. May as well pop up the fortify while I'm thinking about it. Great. Fantastic. And we're going to go for a 64% on the shield better. Take him down. Really? Okay. Negative damage. Gonna need to reload soon. This is a very interesting turn of events right here. Uh, presumably, Emerald can help. I don't know how. 27% on snake. There we go. One less snake. That's great. And I think last but not least here, my plan is, can I indeed concuss this guy? I could. Razor, with that as our backup plan, could you get in there and just slice this guy into oblivion? 64% to slice for four to six. Let's see what Razor can do. And he hits for four. Hey, he mineraled, but he didn't graze. Is it really any different though? Is there really any difference? Uh, that guy has 3 HP. I could command Razor to slice him again. But it might be more safe to just concuss him and render us all in a pile of smoke. Then again, it, uh, that also might not be the safe thing to do. So, hmm. What do I do? Do I command Razor? For the Grazer? For the gra like if he grazes, he could actually not kill that thing and then literally die. If we shoot the rocket, we might kill him. We also might stun him. You know what? The rocket makes the most sense. Let's do that. We'll kind of also hit Saij at the same time. Maybe Yuri. Bam. Sure. We don't care about none of that friendly fire. Fantastic. He is indeed stunned, and now we don't have to worry about it. What a sloppy, jalopy mission this was. All right. Let's go get Razor, and we'll finish it up strong with a 39% slash. For two, he grazed. Razor the grazer. <laughs> How many is that now? Grazes? Three trillion and five, I'm pretty sure. Operation Floral Vault. Three wounds due to incompetence in the extreme. Still, though, it was more fun that way. If I played it the smart way, I would have spent probably 25 minutes screwing around, like looking for places to go and things to do and trying to get the perfect burnination for you and blah 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 Who cares? You just take a few wounds and things are great. He all-star MVP player. Might have been just Zawadi for being consistent. It also could have been Yuri for doing all the things technicals do in this campaign, which is like all the things, apparently. Hard to say. Five days. I could wait for him. I don't know if I want to do that or not. We'll find out in a second. For now, Emerald, let's promote you to fortify. Try to keep you alive. Great. Good. Continue. We got one Illyrium Core, two advanced stocks, one advanced auto alert, laser sight. Emergency life support I can use to do some hacking missions if I really wanted to use two men for that. We also picked up 30 supplies, 10 Illyrium, 8 alloys, a shield bearer, 3 vipers, a mech, a muton, an officer, a stun lancer, and 3 troopers. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of stuff right there, actually. That is a lot of stuff. We're kind of rich right now. And I'm thinking, do I want to build my second AWC slot? I mean, I could divert all my power into it, and we could have a second slot. The question is, though... How much does it cost to add another resistance comp? Can I not even... Oh, yeah, I have to do the research before I can find it. 
Uh, how, you get two, two, two things for putting people on this, right? Yeah, plus two contacts. That's probably going to be plenty for me for some time since I still have one bonus one. And I can do that without any power. I don't think we're going to need to really increase our power down here, but we have the ability to do that without using any power. What the heck do I have to build? I kind of forget. I don't think anything, right? I'm not going to build the Psy stuff. The Shadow Chamber comes, like, much later. The turret room, I don't really need that for a while. So, yeah, I'm free and clear if I want to spend the money on it to get the AWC into a second slot. Which would be cool, but at the same time, is it that necessary? Because I am having some major issues with wounds right about now, playing like a doofus. We are going to have them all healed. In two weeks, though, we're going to have, like, no wounds at all. Or even, like, in a week, we're going to be down to... Most people are coming back in a week. Huh. I'm not sure. Hey, when's the last time I trained an officer? Do you guys remember? Probably 300 years ago. Alma, do you want to be trained in maybe... No, you need to go out on that mission, right. I've, I've been training only uh, technicals. I think I need to train some shinobis just out of the... Just because I have no more technicals to train. So, you know what, Mr. K, we'll stick you in there for a little... Wait a minute. Who's my, um... Is Danny available to go on the network tower? He is a Haven advisor. So, yeah, I can bring him in. All right, let's do this then. Let's toss in Mr. K. Uh, Shinobe in the Oscar Mike variety. Fantastic. And I think I'm just going to keep the money and wait for the guns rather than get more people in the AWC. The perks are cool and fun and all that stuff, but they're not really all that important. I don't think I'm going to detect another... Well, you know what? If I, if I switch to full-on intel right now, it would be possible to detect another supply or um, troop column or something very soon. And this is a pretty good haven for detecting stuff. It's strength 4. So let's go full-on intel now. Whatever happens in here, I want to know about it. We're going to scan for one or two days for um, Yuri and Drigri. Oh, no! Oh, no! It's one of these! Operation Galling Whimper. What's the deal here? Let's zoom out for a little bit. Who do we have? We have Dario. Hmm. I kind of don't mind playing them. I've, this is a short episode anyway. The only problem is, is that... I know who this is. I guarantee you it's Yong Mei Huang. When we look in and zoom, it's going to be like this, this girl with like this afro. It's going to be just her and that's it. Because they have that's the only person who was recruited since some um, Haven infiltrators popped up, so... Alright, let's go do it! Alright, who do we got here? Some old friendly faces. Huyun Jung Yu. Uh, Jae Yoon Kang, apparently. Galina Golyayeva. Golyayeva. Olga Novikova! Remember her for sure. And Dong Ju An. An. All right, uh, that being the case, we got laser, uh, rifle, uh, SMG, SMG, and a laser rifle. All right, so it's going to be Jae Yoon. Let's go up here and scouting McScouts a lot. Probably going to see nothing. Great, we'll keep going. Great, we see nothing. Let's just be not stupid about this, and it should be pretty easy. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We can get right into the action. So let's do that. Let's move up as far as we can. Ye or Yoon Kang, as it were. This is looking fine by me. Where can we go that we can engage them with actual cover? Looks like over here is probably the best bet for us. And indeed, let's do that. Let's move over here to look around. Do we see the rebels or anything? No, we're good. Uh, so with that being the case, everyone who can get over here, indeed, get over there. Uh, you're going to have to go right there, Dario. Fantastic. I, I miss Dario. We should bring Dario out on some more missions. Let's come up here with Dong Ju. Uh, we're out of space to bring everybody. I hate it when they can't quite all fit. And you'll have to go right there. Good. Okay, they're leaving. So what I actually want to do here is let them walk into me. So everybody come on up. Come on up. On my way. Turn around, guys. I'm out here, I promise you. Rolling. This is the place where I am. Right behind you. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Come see me. Okay. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, I'll go. Oh, hold on. Oh! What? Oh, I didn't see the drone. Whoopsie daisy. Well, that's one way to activate. Should have paid attention to that. Oh, but I just, I literally said, like, do everything careful and don't screw anything up, and we win. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Let's do all the wrong things. Well, uh, Dario, you could run and gun down here and maybe kill that guy, but that risks having to fight the faceless. I'm not a huge fan of that. Let's just uh, flashbang the faceless and execute this guy over here with Dario. Seems like a legitimate strategy to me. 96%. Whoa, that thing's got 6 HP, though. Holy mother of heavens. Dario, go for it. Wow, ballistic uh, ballistic weapons, eh? We got a laser rifle here, though, so let's go up. Dongju, you got this. 73. Wow. Okay, never mind. What can I actually do here about this? Like, we're, we're kind of running out of guys, and I really want to flashbang the faceless. Who has a flashbang? Actually, nobody. I would have to use... Hoyong Jung. Uh, so let's come over here and just keep shooting this fate or this drone with like SMGs for one damage, and hopefully one one of them will actually not mineral or something. There we go. That's what I needed to see. Fantastic. Adva uh, advanced hair trigger. Let's move one up here. Hoyong Jung Yu, and let's toss out the flashbang on both of these guys. And last but not least, let's actually fall back, all the way back here. With Jae Yoon. Okay, great. And then we probably need to come back here with Olga and make sure she doesn't get a flank on her. Well, I guess I recovered from that nonsense. This guy's going to deliver himself right in front of us, which is exactly where I want him to be. Uh, so, everyone, basically just take your shots. Galena, Golia, Yiva. I want to kind of make sure that I get the kill. Oh, hit for a one? Really? Really? 74% Dongju! This is a case of if I don't manage to kill this guy, we're actually gonna squad wipe right here, probably. Uh, 73% Olga. Please! Oh, please! No! Come on, Rebels, stop being doofers! Jay Yoon with your basic SMG, 66! There we go, right in the heart! One! Okay, this is getting very serious now. Hyunjun, you gotta hit! Okay? For four, and now it comes down to just Dario, who, by the way, has lightning reflexes, so I'm going to use him to guarantee we get this 100% shot here, get a little bit closer, and take out this face. I like how it takes the whole freaking squad to take down one faceless. Oh, yep, sorry. Sorry, like, Yunju or whatever. <laughs> Another advanced suppressor. God, that is awesome. I love advanced suppressors, and we just got, like, six in the last few missions. What are you going to do, little guy? You know, lead us to your friends and show us... Uh, Show us how to save time. All right, now we know where they are. They're back there in that direction. Fantastic, let's move up. Oh, hello. Yep, I can feel the lag. Oh no, that was not the person I thought it was. Huh, interesting. So that was a faceless stun lancer. Oh, what was that exactly? Was it a faceless stun lancer pod? Because this guy ran back, and then there was another guy back there, I suppose? Is the plan... Hmm. I mean, these aren't, like, really the easiest missions in the world. Like, 33%, let's go for it. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> faces is just like, what the hell are you aiming for, friend? Uh, Dong Ju on. You know what I want to do is have one person... No targets available. I want to have one person throw out a smoke on everyone. So let's make sure we have that uh, capability before I take all my shots. 53% Dong Ju. Awesome. Who does the least amount of damage who also has a smoke? Oh, right there, perfect. Jay Yoon, you're the one with the smoke. Uh, let's actually probably move you up here right now, and I'll throw the smoke on now so I don't forget about it. Hit pretty much the whole squad, except... Yeah, we can ind indeed actually hit the whole squad. Okay, so from where we are right here with Hyun Jun, we're good to just shoot. 58%, go for it. Awesome. We're actually we're chewing through this one. We couldn't hit the other one, like, to save our life, but we're chewing through this one. Olga needs to move up to get into the smoke. And 51%, Olga. 
Uh, let's come back now with Dario. Because there's a bunch of guys right in his face and I don't want to deal with them so much. Here comes the stun lance. He's gonna go for somebody. Oh my lord! Critically hit Dong Ju on! That is so lame! That is so- he was in the smoke and everything! What was the chances of that? I didn't even look. Uh, and then this trooper moves up 9% swing and a miss. Okay. Well, here's some interesting times. Because we do indeed have this stun lancer right in front of us, but we also have the faceless. And I kind of feel like I need to kill them both right now. Can I throw grenades and hit them both? That sucks so much, Dong Ju. We'll miss you. Do have a laser sten gun here. Uh, we could move out of the smoke, which doesn't seem like that smart of an idea. Can we kill the faceless with what we have? I honestly have no idea. Uh, I can move up, though. We have 5 HP with Jae Yoon. Hmm, yeah. I'm feeling like we can indeed kill the face, at least the faceless. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 76%. Let's go for it. Jae Yoon hits for a one with a graze. These rebels, though, they're very good at the rebelling. Maybe what I should do is stun the faceless. We can move right up there with uh, Dario and stun him, and we could try to have everyone else take out the stun. It's just such a weird place for this guy to be. Can we move over here with Hyun Jun? We'll give up the smoke, we'll go to the high cover, we'll get a flank on the stun Lancer. 78%, take him down. He's more dangerous than I think than the faceless. Nice, critical hit for a seven. That's what I'm talking about. Can we move all the way back here with Galena with her laser SMG? Nope. You know what? Better idea. Let's come over there with her. Well, she only has 3 HP. It's probably not the best idea, to be honest, now that I think about it. But 75%. Let's go for it. <laughs> Rebels, stop missing like 90% shots. Actually, that was 87. But <laughs> negative. Negative. We're not going to stop missing these shots. Negative. Negative. All right, Olga, you have got to kill this one. You have got to kill it. The only smart plan I have for you is to get a flank by running way the heck down the street into the open. That way, at least the trooper can't hit you. And let's do this. 62 with 12% graze. Yes, finally. We pick up a laser sight, another suppressor. Dario move right on up here next to this faceless. And let's just shut him down for a single turn here with an 85% stun, which I honestly thought would be 100%. Please don't miss or someone's dead. Okay, awesome. What's this little guy gonna do? He's not gonna go for Olga on the streets there, I don't think. Nope! 55%. That is a surprisingly large chance to hit Jae Yoon Kang there. But he missed and lost, but definitely least. Dario, a shotgun face on... Oh, whoa, what the... Oh, I forgot about the... Fa How did I forget about the face? Anyway, Dario, not lost, not least. Great. I'm like, okay, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Everyone can go home now. We're done. Uh, let, let's go all in on this on this faceless. Hyunjun Yu, go for it. 90%. For two, you had to hit the 10% grace. Galena, please. No grace. Okay. This is just it's just a, it's just a comedy of errors at this point. Olga, 56%. All right, well, the faces is going to kill somebody. <laughs> Jay Yoon, let's move over here and throw a grenade on top of you. I can't believe to kill one guy, I had to lose at least two rebels, if not more. Hit for four, he regenerates for three. Wow. That, that is very bad. Oh, Yoon Jun Yu! And I even lost the loot! Even lost the loot. Why did it? Why? Finally. Why is it so hard to kill faceless? Shoot him, guys! Shoot him! I guess it's so hard because of just dumb luck. Like, I, how many 90% shots have I missed on this? 72% here. I should probably should have moved right up to him, but okay, okay, we're done. We're done. We're done with the grazes. Dario, move on up, and the faceless is no more. 100% boom. Yeah. Wow, that was really painful. We were better off not even having that mission come up because losing two rebels is going to hurt us more. 
Well, I guess it is in our home region, which doesn't really matter. But yeah, losing the two rebels is going to hurt more on Inzel than that guy was providing in negative Intel. Oh, well. On you. Hey, Dario got a promotion, though. At least that happened. That's pretty cool. He was going to be a shooter guy, so I'm thinking let's go close and personal as much as I have fun with the trench gun. Close and personal is indeed going to be good if he ever gets leveled up. We did get an advanced suppressor out of it, so I suppose there's that. We get three faceless corpses, which is something. I think we get the free autopsy now, a stun lancer, which is also good, working towards that free autopsy. All things considered, though, that's not the best, but only it, all it does right now is hurt our income, so it's probably okay. What was I doing right before this happened? Wasn't I... I was waiting for the uh, supply, and I was scanning a new India. India. Waiting for my uh, technicals to get ready to come and do this mission. So Yuri, no, not uh, Yuri, Deidre and Drigri, I believe. Five days, 17 hours, rec this is, hmm. Operation Martyr's Unicorn. That might actually be a UFO. No, it could also be Live One. The Live One that I was thinking of that went away was there a while. Oh, it's Advent Strength 8 there now, guys. So it's very possible we could indeed be fighting a uh, invasion soon. And it would seem as though West Asia is now down to 6. I don't know where their point of strength went to, but it's apparently gone for the time being. Let's uh, ignore that mission because I think it's another Live One. I could be wrong, but I think so. Also, with I don't want to have seven people on Intel here. I don't want to have anyone... You know what? Let's just go like... We're going to do four on Intel. And then everyone else on hiding. And that's going to be fine. Reason being is I just don't want to do a data tap in a strength eight region. Be more likely to just let all those rebels die. More likely. More likely like. All right. We scan up. We, Zera has done smoker. What did she get? Will to survive? Hey, that's not bad. Although I never remember to use it. So it's not good either. Lots of people are ready now. Fatter day... Well, you got the worst perks in the universe. I suppose pistols wouldn't be bad for you, though. Face off. Well, face off isn't that great, really. EN. Bone Wolf Aim. Hmm. You're the only person who doesn't use Aim as a specialist in the entire barracks. Zawadi, so now would be a good time to train if you were going to. It looks like you're not going to, though. Neither one of those is really super good. <gasps> Josh Ross. Josh Ross, resilience and dead shot. Let's go, dead shot. I forgot that Josh Ross had a quick, a quick study. That was from a long time ago. Let's keep scanning. Drigri's recovered now. Looks like we found a four-day scientist. Yeah, I'm going to skip that one. How long until the next person's ready? We got three days on Yuri, one day on Deidre. I think I just want to wait the one day, and then we'll queue it up, because the, the extra two days might actually be enough time for someone to send a... or for the advent to send in a supply raid. So we're just going to wait for Deidre here. The month has ended. We get 400 in supplies. The Tyvek and TTP are here. Rapid response. Hidden event. Yep. Supply drop. 318. Johnny Five's recovered from wounds now. Did Deidre recover yet? Julian's recovered now. Where the heck? Yuri. Nope. Deidre's. We're still waiting on her. Just like a little bit of time here. Oh, wait. I just right-clicked through a mission. Which one was it, though? I don't think it was that neutralized target. Recover item, I don't think it was that. Rescue VIP, we're not doing that regardless. A jailbreak? Apparently the... the um, whatever it is, is really low here. So we can actually go do this, but it's light and it's in a... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Western US is down to six strength. Where the... Where is this strength going? West Sage is down to six. New Arctic's up to six, so I guess a point of strength went over there. Great, no more invasion to worry about. There we go. Deidre is ready. Let's go queue this up. And here's the squad. Danny, Ulma, Deidre, Drigri, and Zera. Look at these. Look at them. Under the blood red sky of the outdoor sunset. This is fantastic. One thing I want to do, though, is buy... Z well, do I want to buy Zera a gun? Because we're looking at, like, 11 days for coils. I don't think I do want to buy her a gun on second thought. I gave her a fire thingy. She can use both battles. She's really only here to fill in the fill in the, the hole, as it were. Let's go. This is fine. 
It's absolutely fine. Rockets ahoy. It's gonna be ridiculous. Look at that sunset, though. Alright, now, I don't think I've got, like, a single mission going on anywhere. A lot of things came up, but I elected not to do any of them. Avengers Let's hit this supply drop really forward. fast. I think I will actually buy that second AWC tube, because I'm going to have a ton of money in just a second. And not enough Illyrium and alloys to really buy a bunch of coil guns. Oh, hey, another Avatar thingy. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow yeah, if I'm going to do it, we'll need to move fast. I guess I might as well do it now. So let's come in. We'll buy the second tube. Three dollars. Awesome. Our current power systems to the limit. Who wants to go in during this time of rest? Swati, no, 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 no. I think the plan is let's put Matt in again. He seemed pretty good. Oh, quick study. Awesome. Yep, Matt, you're in. I remember that from before. I wanted to put him in for that very reason. Supply drop nearly done. Philippe is recovered. Review the target. We got a five-day smash and grab. Very light. That's something we can do. Let's go gear it up. And here's the squad. Zera Zesty Zealots, accompanied by Ian and Amaral. Also, a few really important things I need to do here. Number one, Ian actually finally needs, like, an upgraded drone or whatever they're called. Uh, what is this? Gremlin Mark II. That's what we want. Awesome. Let's make sure we give him that. I'm thinking of buying him a pistol because it doesn't cost much money, even though we're just about to unlock the coil ones. It might be useful, but honestly, it also might be completely useless. He's not going to use it that much. Ten dollars, one, one. I think I'm just going to save the money, actually. I don't, I don't think we really need it. Let's give him uh, another alloy plating. I almost forgot about that. And then last, there was uh, one other thing I wanted to do. Oh, right, his um, PCS. He is like the hacking extraordinator. Let's give him that really good hacking we got. Plus eight from a long time ago. Awesome. That's plus 28 on him total. Hopefully, we can hack something someday. Uh, now I'm at 94% here, so I'm going to use those advanced suppressors I've been picking up. We have three advanced suppressors. That brings us up to 95. We're going to go on pretty much everybody's going to have to take one of these. Even you, Philippe. Even you. The scope is nice and all, but advanced suppressors are a lot better. Awesome. We're up to 97. Amaral, I think you're going to have to take one as well. The laser sight, probably not the most useful thing for you. Let's go advanced suppressor. Do we have a better hair trigger for you? Advanced hair trigger? Great. Let's give it to you. Any elite stuff here? No. No such luck. Uh, Philippe, what kind of things do you have? Advanced, advanced... Oh, no, actually just a basic expanded mag. Do we have a better one? Mm, no, we don't. We do, have, we do have some advanced scopes, but frankly, no one really needs them, so... I think we're good here. We're at 98%, and I don't think I can get much better. Unless... I actually could get better. I could give Faraday one. Do I want to get rid of the autoloader, or do I want to get rid of the, the stock or the scope? Probably the autoloader. We'll have some time if we need it. Let's go suppressor. There we go. We just pushed our way all the way up to 100%. Of course, we're going to be under-infiltrated ever so slightly, but it's not going to matter so much, I don't think, with the, the, the flight out there. I could drop one piece of gear if it really mattered to me, which is probably the pistol on EN. The only reason I'm bringing it is so I don't forget in the future. Hope that I can remember to train them in pistols and actually use it. That doesn't actually change our gear loadout at all. All right, well, Fatterday, you want to drop that smoke? I mean, how really? Are you going to really need a smoke? Probably not. There we go. Five days, 13 hours. Now we can fly out and be at exactly 100%. No problem. Yep, we're looking good. Of course, I could upgrade a couple guns here on Amaral and Julian, but frankly, we're so close to coil, I don't see the point. Let's roll. And we got a new mission. Three days, 18 hours, destroy, relay, prevent the data leak. Operation Mucklift, you say. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to do that, but that means we're going to have a retaliation up here in the very, very, very near future. Let's kick Lewis out for a little bit. Let's get somebody in there who really likes the retaliations, like Zawadi. That'll be a great placement uh, for him, I think. That's strength six as well. God, I really wish I had Deidre available. She's not going to be available for that. Like, my, my strategy is usually get the trial by fighter officer and then just spam them on retaliations to level up like 10 guys at a time constantly. Speaking of Haven in West Asia, I pulled out Danny a while back. Forgot to put somebody in. Let's put... It doesn't really matter. Maybe Megan or something. Looks like the next mission we're doing is actually going to be that retaliation. Or alternatively... No, that's a full-on retaliation. I can't not do it, I don't think. Did I get both of my tubes filled up here? I think I did. Yes. 
So let's just hang out down here and look for a supply raid or something incoming at some point. Another mission up here, four days. Ooh. Subtractive conglomerate. That would actually make this region more doable. Sort of. I just kind of feel like I don't care too much about it, especially because I'd have to boost it. I'm more interested in expanding to new regions. I do have one spare contact. I just don't want to spend the intel on that troop column. Plus, we don't particularly have a huge amount of guys to go on these troop columns. I mean, it, it, pretty much nobody is available. I really wish I could level people up, but... Just not working out this campaign. It's just not working out. Let's scan. Josh Ross has completed a dead shot. What did he get? He got Iron Curtain? Hmm. Doesn't that take like four ammo? I guess he could technically do it once in a while. What a weird thing to give someone like that. I guess he could get a flank and do an Iron Curtain, right? With a SMG? Yes, he'd probably hit pretty hard and slow. That just sounds kind of actually interesting. Here's the thing, though. I'm probably going to need him on that mission, so I doubt I should put him in. How long do we have? We've got three days, 13 hours. We actually have kind of a long time for that, so I can put him in for like a four-day thing. Josh Ross, you want to go for something? Something that's... Ooh, well, resilience would be nice to keep you alive. We do the Iron Curtain a little bit later. Or I could do it right now because it seems ridiculous. Hold on, let me go find a gunner. I want to see how much ammo this takes. Where, is, where are the gunners? Here's one. Philippe, let's take a look at you. Soldier abilities. Iron Curtain is... Return cooldown uses three ammo. All right, huh. That would be really cool to flank a bunch of guys and shoot them with an Iron Curtain with an SMG. Let's do it. Josh Ross, you're in. You're in. Iron Curtain. Okay. Sure. Uh, and we scan. G is available for um, recruitment in Western U.S. That's probably something. Let's keep going, though. Yuri is recovered from wounds. That's good. We're going to need him in just a second here. we got one day on Impossible Junction up here. Hold the phone, guys. Impossible Junction. Did I not do West Asia? Have I done Liberation 1? Wasn't I... Do I... I think I... No, I think I did it in New Arctic. So I think that's just a Lib 1, and it's not a UFO. Either way, we're not really doing it. Also, the strength in West Asia is down to 5, which is pretty good. Let's keep scanning over here. New India is down to 5. Arctic's up to 6. Western U.S. is at 6. Okay, no, uh... No invasions anytime soon. New mission up here. 3 days, 23 hours. Destroy the alien re or relay. I could do this if I boosted it. I could also do it if I sent in a specialist... Like a little hacky Hackerson mission with a shinobi and a specialist who had, uh, whatever the perk was. I do have Johnny Manzano. I don't have any shinobis, though. Every single one is busy or somewhere doing something. Like, literally every single one is either wounded or deployed, and none are available. Alright, I think I won't do that. I just don't feel like doing those stupid two-man missions anyway. And we scan. Mm, that's my power coil. Awesome. Got a bunch more Elenium Maximum crystals. Power consumption reached. I guess it's time to start digging out either the machinery, which gives us 23 alloys, or the debris, which give us no alloys. So, I'm gonna go for the machinery. Put in everybody. Awesome. Mr. K got Oscar Mike. Hey, can't go wrong with that. We're probably gonna need to level up Mr. K in just two seconds here. With this retaliation, I bet. I guess we'll find out. I probably don't want to retrain them then. Let's go. We got nine hours here. Target acquired. Five day, 21 hour neutralized to get attention. I do not want to do that. I don't want the vigilance spiked over there producing more than eight strength ever. Let's keep going. Josh Ross got Iron Curtain. You know what that means. There's going to be a retaliation in less than a day. Is there someone I want to stick in the tube so I don't forget about it though? Someone down here, like the Felts or Lucas or something. I've actually probably most of the maybe Constantine. <gasps> Constantine, low profile as a gunner. Yeah, let's do that. We probably won't bring him on this mission. We'll level him up a little bit in the future. Okay, come on, guys. There's too many stupid things happening right now. Extract VIP for engineer. That would be nice if it wasn't strength eight. Let's keep going. Looks like Matt got his quick study done. What did he get after that? Looks like Shadow Step. Interesting. That would actually be pretty good once he gets ever vigilant. He can just run wherever he needs to be with damn good ground. Oh my god, that's going to be really cool. I can't wait for that. 
Uh, let's go. I can see Matt having a bright, bright, bright future. There's the retaliation as I was waiting. One day, three hours. Operation Odd Blizzard. How long until these are done? We got one day, 16 hours. This is going to be two days, four hours at the, at the very least. I think India went from four to five strength while I was doing that. Not sure exactly. Yeah, it did do that. All right, so there's no sense in waiting. We're going to run this mission. And we may as well just run it now. Is anyone wounded or recovering in the near future? We got one day on me, actually. I would like to go on this mission. And I'm the only one, apparently. I'm the only one. All right, let's just uh, scan up a little bit. We got one day, two hours. Great. So let's do that amount of time. We got 20 hours now. Oh, another supply raid. Uh, Operation Krabby Uncle. God, they are hitting this region hard. I did spike a lot of vigilance there, though. So in fairness, my own fault. It's my own fault. We're at 99 incel. One more tick. This is moderate heavy. And I could scan it up to how much? Like four and a half days? Probably not really going to realistically happen in any sort of, like, feasible time frame. we got 12 hours here in this Haven defense. I'm just going to scan here for, like, a little bit at a time. I want to make sure that I don't overscan, though. It said one day for me. I should be ready to go. What do we got? Seven hours over there? Am I ready yet? No. I got to go for seven more hours. There we go. I'm ready. All right. When's we returning? Operation Odd Blizzard brought to you by a pretty serious squad of everyone I can possibly muster. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Fantastic. He is indeed stunned, and now we don't have to worry about it. What a sloppy, jalopy mission this was. All right, let's go get Razor, and we'll finish it up strong with a 39% slash for two. He grazed. Razor the grazer. <laughs>